What do you mean? If, if, if institutional racism was real, what can I do that he can't do? Well, you're less likely to get arrested. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, if we both commit a crime, he's going to get arrested and I'm not? He could. What's the views of hope you guys are feeling good? Welcome to our channel. Today we have a new video on our list. So, Charlie Kick destroy race battling students with facts and logic, okay? Uh, I love us to watch this video together and see how it goes. So let's get right into it. Hi, y'all. So before I ask my question, I want to clarify a point that y'all mentioned earlier. You said you don't believe in white privilege, correct? Yeah, it's, it's a myth. It doesn't exist. Okay. So according to the Bureau of Prison Statistics um, from last month, 38.3% of our current inmate population is black. But according to the 2020 census data, only 122 of our national population is black. So if you don't believe in white privilege, how do you explain this disparity? So why are they in jail? It has been this way for years, um, since the 90s. No, no, since wh wh why, the do, why do people go to jail? Why are black people in jail at higher rates than white people? That's the question, right? Maybe because yes. they commit more crimes than white people. But that's not true. It actually it's as, it's as simple as so, that. So every independent analysis shows that blacks have committed a disproportionate amount of crime. No one wants to say it out loud, but it's true. In fact, in New York, 52% of murders are committed by blacks, 40 plus percent of arson, 60 plus percent of drug deals. And so the question you should really be asking is what drives them to commit crimes? That's the question, right? The real question is, and maybe I can ask you, what percentage of blacks are raised with two parents in the home? Mm. So actually, according to the Uniform Crime Report for 2019, black or African-American individuals committed only about one million crimes, while white people committed about four million yeah, crimes. So, yeah, but, but yeah, that's but proportion. On. Yeah, how proportion. about the proportion? There's a lot more white people than black people it's in 60, the United it's States. It's a 60% white country and a 14% black country. So you just proved my point. You literally, so, so basically, that's a disproportionate amount of crime. It is. I, I, but listen, I want to say, look, you are coming up here and you're asking a question, and that's not easy to do, first and foremost, no matter what. And I really appreciate your question in front of all of these people. It's hard. So thank you for asking your question. But let me point out what you, what you just did, and you didn't know that you did it. You switched from proportion to raw numbers. That's right. And you did that to make a point that you thought you were making, but you weren't. But look, your issue was that black Americans only make up 13% of the population, and yet they make up, I think you said, like 38% of the prison population. And then you, yes, you switched yeah, to raw numbers because, so black people only make up 13% of the population, but they commit 40% of all homicides and 60% of all violent crime. Unfortunately, I don't think that's anything inherent in black Americans. That's not what I'm saying. That's just um, her own opinion about what she feel like as a truth. For instance, what she said, why is black people more in prison? Whereas they have 60% white and 40% black. And why is black people more in prison? One is because of the growing up, the parenting. Most of them, most of the black people are being parented by single parents. Most of them are being parented by mothers. That they're being trained by their mothers. And they tend to commit crime in order to fend for the family, to make the family like to sustain, to provide for family. So they tend on going to do some some jobs or some perform some arts. Let's use Tupac for an example. Why him why he was growing up was he was being brought up by a single mother. By that he wants to provide, he wants to fend for the family. He wants to prove that he's a man of the house. So he actually committed some crimes that okay he's trying to fend. So that's exactly what they're trying to say. This is the reason why most black people are trying in prison. And it's not because of because of race, it's not because of racism or anything. That's why they just put a lot of black people to the prison. No, they actually committed a crime that made them go to the prison. Just the fact. And what Charlie is saying is, look, we've got to look at why that is. So you're claiming that that disparity is inherent proof of discrimination. So would you also say the fact that there are fewer Asians in jail means that than white people, that there is discrimination against white people? No. Disparity isn't proof of discrimination is what I'm so, trying to say. Yeah. So let me just throw, and Ali's exactly right. What percentage of blacks grow up with two parents in the home? I don't know. Yeah, don't less than 20%. Out. That's why there's so many blacks committing crimes and they're in jail. It's that simple. The death of the black family is why blacks are in jail higher than their population percentage. It's that simple. May I see your criminology degree? Do you have uh, one? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, Wait. We've got to, are you we, a we biologist? You from an expert you Brown Jackson. So, but no, but let, me, let, let me ask you a question. So, um, so 
do I need a criminology degree to be able to understand that 75% of blacks don't grow up with two parents? To be well-versed well in it, I believe so. Do, okay. you ha do you have one? I don't, but I'm studying it Okay, right but now. you oh, she exactly. studied it. But you did the same thing. How you looked at a statistic, and he did the same thing. You Look, don't have a criminology have degree, neither does he. Hold on a second. That? You're doing an argument from authority, okay? It's a fallacy. So mm -hmm. the laws of physics don't change whether or not you're a physicist, okay? The law of thermodynamics doesn't change whether or not you take a course on it. Answer the question. Why do blacks have a broken family versus a nuclear family, and does that translate to higher rates of crime? Do you admit that? Why is it that blacks don't have parents, though? Why? Good question. We subsidize single motherhood in this country to the federal government of the United States. Great question. Now we're getting somewhere. Back in the 1960s, we put forward a program where black women married the government and broke up with the men they were with. Welfare state, Lyndon Baines Johnson, and that has contributed to blacks committing more crimes. I believe institutionalized racism is your answer, but I don't believe I'm getting anywhere oh, but, with y'all. So. But no, just, just let me say, just let me point something out. Did you know that it's not white Americans that have the lowest incarceration rate or the lowest rates of crime or the highest graduation rates or the highest median income? It's not white Americans. It's Asian Americans. They have the highest median income. They have the highest graduation rates. They have the most degrees. They have the lowest incarceration rates. And guess what? They also have the lowest single parenthood rates. Okay? So that is true across the board. It's not just black Americans. And unless you're willing to say that the reason why Asian Americans make more than white Americans or the reason why Asian Americans go to jail less than white Americans is because there is systemic institutional racism against white people in this country, then your argument against black people doesn't really work. So let me ask you one thing. True. institutional racism. I got a black friend right up here. He's great. What, what can, he's great. So let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you a question. What can I do that he can't do? What do you mean? If, if, if institutional racism was real, what can I do that he can't do? Well, you're less likely to get arrested. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, if we both commit a crime, he's going to get arrested and I'm not? He could. What, wait, so we just went through this. Blacks commit a disproportionate amount of crime, crime in this country because of broken families. So give me one law on the books. You said it's institutional. Families. Give me a law anywhere that discriminates against blacks. Give me one law anywhere in America. You want current or past? How about right now? Well, the fact that crack cocaine is criminalized more than regular cocaine. No, no. If, I, if, I, if, I deal, if I deal crack cocaine, I'm getting arrested regardless of skin color. Give me a, give me a law. But if you white cocaine, you would... You're Give me a law a anywhere that allows white people to, to commit crimes and get away with it and blacks can't. Does that law exist? Not anymore. But because there's no institutional real. racism in America. The no idea of institutional real. racism is laws on the books. Just because it's not down on paper doesn't mean it's not real. Okay, give us an example. Not just God. a disparity. Not just a God? disparity. God isn't, you don't see God. He's on paper. Read the Bible. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm getting nowhere with y'all, and y'all are not answering my questions, so I'm going to end this Q&A right here. Thank you for your time. Okay. We actually did answer her questions, but I do appreciate, I really, even though she's got an attitude, um, she, I, I do appreciate her courage. I do. That, that is difficult. That's difficult yeah, to come I mean, up here and ask a but question, I, see, but you can also do it respectfully. But what bothered me about her, I'm glad she was there. She wasn't being honest. At least be honest, okay? True. And be willing to be corrected. Well, that was a fun fireworks show to end our time together, right? <laughs> Number one, she was not being honest. Number two, she just don't want to accept the fact that um, white privilege does not exist. I don't know what Charles Kick said. Um, give me an example of something I'm going to do that this, white man, that this black man is not going to do. Like, the same thing. We all have the same privileges. No matter how people want to accept it or not, we all, we all have the same privileges. Whether she, the lady right there, just don't want to accept the fact. She just don't want to accept the fact that, like, a lot of families, a lot of black families have been raised by single mothers. That's why the crime rate is really high. I keep on saying it. Guy, whenever a mother gave birth to him, a boy, and the boy grew up in a family of being raised by only by a single mother, he wants to fend for the family. He wants to provide for the family. He wants to ease the stress of the mother and provide for the family and stand out. A lot of people, me, I was being raised by a single mother, so I'm someone who 
but went through that process. So I also understand that whenever it's a, a guy is being raised by a single mother, or even girls too, they still want to provide. Majority of them, my guys, they want to provide. They want to step up. They want to be like, okay, let it ease the burden for the mother and step up as men to provide for the household. That is how it works. That is how it always works. And whenever they want to ease the burden of the parents, some of them go do some some stuff because they want to easy money out. They want quick money out so you know to provide quickly. They go sell drugs or they go commit some crimes. They go um go to some grocery shops, go bargain there and steal some stuff because of why easy money out. So that's why the crime rate of black people are trying to increase it. Either she accepted or the lady right there accepted or not is plain truth. So single parenting, I keep on saying it's no good. They should have um father and mother training the child, not just a single mother raising the child up. I keep saying that. Not no there should not be any type of single parenting. It's really mess with the kids a lot. So whether they are they choose to accept it or not, it's really mess with the kids. And I love how Chas kick said she's just not accepting the fact that is just it she is bold enough to come there but she still don't accept the fact that she has some rude and bad attitude that is just it for me and the show was actually interesting and it's a beautiful way to end the speech it's a beautiful way to end the show by answering that lady evidence answer so comment down below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to us many as you can Subscribe to our channel, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all